Texas on the beat. friends back again with another video today gonna to be showing you this awesome tutorial how to fly through buildings create entire cities within after effects it's actually a lot more simple than it sounds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into after effects right here and I do want to mention that before you start this what you guys are gonna need is element 3d to be able to bring in these 3d buildings you also need the metropolitan pack from video copilot or if you guys only have element and not the metropolitan pack you can just look up any kind of free obj file city which you guys can bring in and that should probably work the same but I'm gonna be working with the metropolitan pack so let's just hop in after effects um, to do this what i'm going to do is click new item in premiere i'm going to bring in a new transparent video and this is just going to serve as our dynamic link so i'm just going to stretch this out and then i'm just going to right click this and replace this with an after effects composition so that's the way i like to do it if you guys are only using after effects you can always just use after effects but i prefer to use dynamic links just so i can see what i'm doing in premiere too all right, so now we're in After Effects. What I'm gonna do is just delete that transparent video because I don't need it. And now we can go ahead and set up Element and then start making our building. So to do that, what we're gonna do, a quick 10 second thing I forgot to mention guys before the tutorial starts. Effects Pack 2.0 created by me, a bunch of awesome cool effect presets for Adobe Premiere dropped on my website, Mini Monopoly. Link down in the description if you guys are interested. I'm gonna play this 10 second little promo for you guys to check out. Once that's finished, it's gonna come back to the tutorial. <laughs> I'm going to make a new solid so you can either right click here go to new or you can just go to layer new solid and we're just gonna click OK I'm gonna right click and rename this and I'm just gonna rename this city next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and you guys should already have element 3d installed on the website and just follow along any of the prompts it's actually a very easy install if you do have this one thing I highly recommend if you want to take your editing to the next step because being able to incorporate being able to incorporate obj files and any kind of 3d stuff to help you with your editing i think is super useful and it's a super big advantage if you can learn how to do it so we're going to look up element um, video copilot right here i'm going to drag that onto our city uh, right there and you're going to see it's just going to go blank as element kind of loads in here um, and if we go to our effect controls, you can see this is our scene setup, all our groups. And this might seem complicated to people who don't have any experience with this, but just follow along. It's actually very simple to be able to figure it out. So we're gonna go to scene setup. And like I said, you make sure you have your Metropolitan pack installed right here. I'm gonna open this up and you're gonna be able to see what we can do. So if I just zoom out a little bit, you're gonna see our 3D grid. And I'm just gonna go through, um, I'm gonna click on Metropolitan, no antennas. I'm just gonna select a bunch of buildings I'd like to make up our city. If you actually slide to the very bottom here, you're gonna see a bunch of actually pre-built kind of like street layouts. Um, and I'm gonna set it up as like a night city. So just click in a few of these, all gonna kind of load into like the same spot. All right, so that's good. We just loaded in a few of them. We don't have to do anything else here. Let's go ahead and just click okay. And you can see those pop onto our After Effects uh, window right here. So now you can see that. And you don't want to move this around. I feel like a lot of people get that messed up. Don't move this layer around. Keep that layer always the same. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to right click at the bottom here. We're going to go to new and we're going to go to camera. And we can just make it either 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter. Let's click it OK. Now what you can do is you can actually click the C key on your computer to cycle through the different camera controls. This one kind of rotates the entire scene. Um, this is another rotator one. This one kind of moves left to right. And then this one is in and out. So just make sure you guys get accustomed to that. Um, it's also gonna be on your toolbar. If you alt click it, you can, cycle, you can cycle through that. But I recommend you use the C key just to be able to cycle through all these. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go click back on our city layer and we're gonna go over here to where it says group one. Go ahead and open that up. Right here where it says particle replicator, we're gonna open up that and then we're going to change the replicator shape from point into plane. So make sure you do that. That's a step that I think a lot of people mess up and kind of overlook. You need to be able to change it to plane to see these extra settings that we're gonna to wanna to change. I think 44 might be even a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna make it like 25. You can experiment with this. Once you've done that, open up the scale shape like this. So just bump this up and you're gonna see this all kind of expand. And that's just how you make a very simple city just like that. So once you scale that up, 
up like i said make sure you're using your camera controls just to really see what you're working with if i zoom out here you're going to see it's looking like a nice little city um and since it's kind of just floating in space it doesn't really matter because we can just zoom in here um and depending on what you really want to do you can set up whole backgrounds with this i'm not going to go into really the details i'm just going to show you the basics of actually flying through this building now another important things you guys should know is that these buildings actually react to light so if you right click here go to new and then go to light let's go ahead and make a spotlight and let's just make it white click ok now you guys can actually place the lighting wherever you want throughout the city so what i would do is actually go ahead and add your own lights throughout your scene throughout that clip i showed you from that riffraff music video i'm working on i added a bunch of red lights and I actually created this really cool look i might actually go through and make a more in-depth tutorial about that entire look or just give a breakdown of that video as a whole once it finally drops so stay tuned for that anyways what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how you can keyframe this to actually get this flying through building effect so let's go ahead and find a nice window that we'd like to fly through All right, so once you found the window, I recommend to be able to line this up properly. Use this, use this tool a lot just to move left and right, as well as you move the in and out tool like this a lot. Those are going to make it a lot simpler because usually using the rotate tools um, kind of tend to just mess stuff up. So I'm going to be using this window right here. I'm actually just going to drag along the timeline for how long I want this zoom to take place. So something like 10 seconds. I'm going to go to my camera. I'm going to open up transform and I'm just going to keyframe all of these position and rotation things right here. I'm going to go back to the beginning and then I'm just going to zoom out. So I'm just going to use this one, the forward and back, and I'm just going to zoom out just like that. So this is our starting position right here. And as you see, it's going to take 10 seconds to go from this starting position, which we've selected. You can even click this little keyframe buttons just to make sure everything's all good. It's going to take 10 seconds to go from there to go to the window spot that we already designated like that. So that's pretty simple. I'll play that for you as you can see a nice little zoom and because this is keyframed if you want it to be any faster or any slower you can just drag any of these keyframes to make it slower i'll drag it out to like 20 seconds to make it faster i'll bring it closer and you'll see it'll be a lot faster like that now what we're going to do is we're just going to move a little bit on the timeline and i'm just going to zoom in literally through the window just like that you're going to see once you go through the building it's kind of just like mesh in there but i'm actually just going to zoom all the way through the building until we come out the other side so I made another keyframe there, zoom all the way through, and then I'm going to drag a little bit lower. I'm going to change my rotation. I'm just going to kind of fly up and rotate around. All right, so we made all the keyframes so that it goes towards the window we want, goes through the window, come out, comes out the other side, and then kind of swivels up. So that's pretty easy to do. Now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to set it up so it looks like you're really smashing through the window. And then we create some cool zoom stuff like you're flying through the building and then come out the other side. So to be able to create that effect, like let's just tweak some things. So in our camera options, we can actually open this up right here. If you want, you can add so it's a depth of field, change any of the aperture, you can make the blur a little bit more, you can add some motion blur, you can even add a motion blur if you just click on city and then go up through our element settings, those group and just go to render settings and we can go ahead and turn on shadows just to make that a little bit more accurate. There's some really exact settings you need for this, I'm just kind of showing you some of the settings you can use to make it look more accurate. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to set it up so it looks like we're smashing through this window right when we get to the specific place. So right when we get here, I'm going to use page down just to move frame by frame, right when we actually get through the window just right there i'm going to go ahead and add a green screen clip glass smashing it's going to kind of create the effect like you're bursting through the window this is the clip that we're going to be using just some green screen glass breaking download to that will be linked in the description below and i'm going to do this in premiere but because i think it's a little bit easier just to do it in premiere but you can also do this within after effects so i'm just going to look up a ultra key in premiere i'm going to place that on there and then just get rid of the green color so now we just have some glass coming in right when we go through the window and you can just retime that to make sure it is at the perfect time so kind of like maybe like right there now if you use this in after effects you can do this as well let's just place this in our project in after effects like i said i think it's a little bit easier in premiere but it's also very possible to do an after effect the glass is about to break and then we'll just cut that delete it let's go ahead and go to transform and go to fit to comp and as you see here we go we got just the glass breaking like that and let's go ahead and we can just use a um, key effect so let's go ahead and add key light 1.2 under our king folder and like I said same as using the ultra key in premiere this is the sound effect I'm gonna be using right here it's just called glass smash bottle have this available for download as well 
Okay guys, so now we have our city and we have the animation of flying towards the window that we want. Now all we need to do is actually create the zoom effect where it's flying through the building. We're gonna be using a zoom effect just to kind of go through here and you can either do this within Premiere or After Effects. I'm gonna show it in Premiere just cause I think it's a little bit easier to kind of like display it, but it's using the same technique. So Control K in Premiere to cut, Control Shift D in After Effects to make a cut. And then you can apply zoom effects however you would like. I have a lot of different videos on zoom effects if you guys want some cool ones. Also a bunch of packs on my website giving you guys some preset ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the place where it breaks with the glass i'm actually going to make a cut and then i'm going to find the place where it actually zooms through the building so right about there and i'm going to make another cut i'm going to right click this i'm going to go to speed duration and i'm just going to make that a little bit faster so i'll just make that 300 um so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to apply a quick little zoom at this cut and at this cut so i'm going to do this in premiere like i said if you have after effects zooms you can also do it in after effects so shift to the left i'm going to make a cut shift to the right and then shift to the right again make a cut and then i'm going to select these two clips and then right click and nest them and since since this is kind of an advanced tutorial you guys have probably already done this a bunch of different times i'm going to use a transition from my transition pack right here like i said available on the website and i'm going to use something like um uh, i'm going to use something like patronus zoom you see we have this cool rippling it just gives a nice cool little zoom effect just like that, like you're breaking through the window. And then I'm gonna apply another zoom effect right here. So I'm gonna click shift left once, control K, and then shift right, shift right, control K. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna nest those two clips like that. And then we're gonna apply another quick little zoom. So I'm gonna probably do something like bulge zoom. We'll see how that looks. Okay, and it goes a little bit something like that, where you kind of just zooms through the window and then just zooms out of the building and then into the next scene. So that's kind of the basics of it. I added a bit of styling. If you guys want a full breakdown of how I got the color grading of that Riff Raff video, a lot of the other animations, a lot of the other elements that I really put into that, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want, if you guys want more tutorials in Element 3D in general, or even maybe some more stuff using the Metropolitan Pack or creating buildings in general, creating animations through that building, so some other crazy stuff, I'll show some on the screen right now just so you can get an idea of what you can really do with this i definitely recommend you guys check it out on video copilot link will be down in the description anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you like comment subscribe if you did enjoy it if you guys are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button join the community anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later